At just 19 years old, Eloisa Melendez became the youngest member of Norwalk's Common Council since 1977. I sat down with Councilwoman Melendez to discuss her passion for politics and goals for the future. My mom always brought me with her to go vote, and I just couldn't wait till I could finally vote. And I didn't realize that, you know, my first, the first time I voted was, you know, in the presidential election in 2012. But I didn't realize that the next time I would vote, it would be for myself, you know. I would always, you know, keep up with the news, kind of see what was going on, not only in Connecticut, but in the country. Um, you know, as a teenager, I focused more on federal government. And then I, then I started to, you know, meet more people involved. Um, one of my family friends, Warren Pena, he was count the former councilman in the past two years. And, you know, talking with him, I realized the importance of local government and how some people, especially people my age, you know, they don't really realize how important local government is. When the, when the seat became open and the opportunity presented itself, I was just like, you know, why not? And I'm here, so because I go to school at Norwalk Community College, so unlike most of my friends who are away, they're athletes and stuff, they're away at school. I'm here, and you know, why not get involved? I've ran on um, education, public safety, and roads. So, you know, throughout the campaign, um, I knocked on doors all the time with my running mate, David. We knocked on doors from the morning till it got dark, you know what I mean? And something, you know, we would hear a lot, a lot about roads and how people, you know, express about education because most of our money, you know, their money goes to education and, you know, just about safety in the neighborhood and stuff like that. So we kind of, from that, I realized, okay, th this is what my constituents want. This is what they need. So this is what, that's what I'm going to do when I, if I can represent them. What I really like about, um, running that the fact that I ran in district was that you know most of their problems were my problems too you know what I mean it really is so local and so you know my, talking to my own neighbors and you know surrounding neighborhoods you know it was just so local that the things that they would say I would be agreeing with them yes like we do need this this is what's going on on our side of north like you know our side of town so obviously people are used to seeing older council you know council members so when I would be at events and, you know, fundraisers and knocking doors, you know, I would be talking to people, but I would never say that I'm 19. Mm -hmm. Somebody else would usually, you know, like hold my shoulders, pop in and be like, you know, she's 19. And I would be like, oh. you know what I mean? They would think, oh, you know, obviously, you, you know, you look young. We thought maybe 23 or something, but wow, 19, that's crazy. And then there'd be a little pause. Mm -hmm. And people, then I would see people kind of doing the math to see what year I was born, and then they would be like, ah, oh. you know what I mean? They felt old, and I, that's why I didn't want to tell them I was 19. I didn't want to make them feel old or, you know, anything like that. There were people who, you know, expressed how proud and how, you know, nice it was to see somebody from their town that young getting involved. But at the same time, they're like, you know, it's a lot of work and kind of, you know, on the fence. Like, can you actually make a difference? Can you actually do what you promised or, you know, represent District A, you know? So it, it was a lot of that, but I never, to my face, I never got anything extremely negative. A lot of people said, you know, I'm voting for you because you're different. Like, I don't even think they would have cared how old I was. I think it was just since I was a new person. Because a lot of times you just hear people saying the same people run over and over and over again and they don't see the change that they want. It's going to be interesting, but I've really, I've really, personally, I hope that we can all work together as much as we can. Obviously, we're going to disagree on things. That's a given. I mean, you know what I mean? I just came from high school, basically, so I know what it's like to work with people that you normally wouldn't want to or stuff like that, but it's all about, you know, in high school, it's all about getting that grade, that good grade on that group project. In this case, it's all about doing what we can for the city. The next Common Council meeting is Tuesday, December 10th in the Common Council Chambers at Norwalk City Hall. In the newsroom, Quadriver Crothy, itsrelevant.com.